Is this the end? The end of the affordable Mexican-made guitar. Stay tuned. Hey, it's me, Baxter. And me, Jonathan. <laughs> and the puppy. Being attacked. <laughs> Dang, it's all, there's a dog running around. So, as of January 2023, Mexico has raised its minimum wage. Which is 20% across the border, though. But um, this is already affecting guitar shops, guitar manufacturers, and all trade across. You know, it's it, we're just a small... Oh, it's coming to life. It's coming to life. Bam! That's it. It, it, it affects <laughs> you that You see dog. us looking away. That's all that's happening. <laughs> I mean, the one time when, when it, she pooped in right. front of us was great. We didn't even, like, stop. We were, like, professionals. It was, like, just, just drop chow right in front of us. So um, we have predictions. Yeah, we have and some And maybe thoughts. guesses, Yeah, and, which pretty much are our predictions. <laughs> They're all guesses. No, so we're seeing this with our manufacturers already. So it's going to affect, you know, the bottom line for us. It's going to affect the bottom line for you. And it's definitely affecting the bottom line for the manufacturers. So the manufacturers want to pass that buck on yep. to the shops. The shops have to pass it on to the end user via us and everyone out there watching that buys these guitars. It's it's happening. It's it's already happened. I was I was gonna say I think I think the thing about like when did the minimum wage thing happen? Uh, January. It is. They've been preparing for it. So I mean like, and they really you know. In a weird way, I feel like they've already passed it on to us because we've seen their eyes of, of Mexican made guitars like price wise, a lot. Well, there's um, a, there's been like well so what happens with every year or two in the guitar game as you know is like we resign our dealer contracts with all of our manufacturers which is awesome we like everybody we work with otherwise we wouldn't work with them true but you know things change every year slightly sometimes good sometimes bad we noticed a few changes this year with pretty much everyone across the board yeah. um, some more than others and a lot of it's due to this most likely yeah. you know as far as that that and, and they're they're trying to offset their their loss. <laughs> and their wage increases down in those factories. I'm just saying we've already seen mm -hmm. pretty darn big increases. We've seen some guitars made in Mexico that are really expensive. You know like what I mean? 2K? Like 2K. And, and we have a Mike McCready that's going to show up this week, too. One of, one of the, we ordered I mean, that one like six months ago or something. Cool. Like, I, I, I mean, can't believe it's finally showing up. I don't know. I just think it... You know, it's unfortunate if there's another big increase on, on I th made in Mexico. I prices. think you're right, though. They've already sort of built some of that in. I think Maybe you know, some of the major companies are sort of holding right now because they know the market is sort of on a tightrope in some ways. So, because like, we talked about this the other day in a video that some prices are going up, some are going down. They're, they're balancing how they can do this. Right, right. It's tricky. Now, here's what I think is going to happen, though. I think twofold. I think we're going to see some USA made guitars slowly pivoted into Mexican production. I think that will happen too. It's going to happen across the board with all of our major manufacturers most likely. Well, we maybe you know, not. We've already talked about in videos before how it was almost like certain obviously we know about Fender because we we deal with Fender a lot. Seems like they were already sort of transitioning a little bit into making you, you it's a blurry line on made in Mexico, made in the US. Well, Squire is now truly your entry level. Yes. And the, even those, like, I mean, we think, again, Classic Vibe Squire, hands Killer. down. And we saw some new release Classic Vibes they have coming out this year. Awesome. That was what I was most excited about of the entire Fender release docket. Right. It was the Classic Vibe Squire stuff coming out. Great guitars. But a made in Mexico Fender is not affordable anymore. <laughs> Was that, were you, are your boots getting attacked? Yeah, just slightly. Okay. Um, it's okay. Mostly we're trying to kill that piece of carpet right there. I'm not sure what's on that piece of carpet. Don't let it kill the but carpet. But something. The carpet's important um, to us. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, just just our just our pet. Um, when I was, I can remember when I started playing. Made in Mexico was like sort of affordable. Right. Still said Fender. It was the standard, you know, yep. the standard Strata, the standard Tele. Yep. I'm not sure that's true anymore. Uh, you know what I mean? Because it's... What are we looking at for a player series? Not player plus. What's player series right now? And, and I saw that through the Christmas season. That's right. when those usually sell the most. And, and there were a lot of young kids getting that for like their first good guitar. Right. Which is kind of awesome. Because like when you show them an American, it's like, oh, by the way, it's like double that. Right. Like, whoa, isn't it? It looks exactly the same. Like, yeah, I know. It's, it's sort of a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, it is a little bit. You know? But A, I think that's going to, we might see some stuff sort of pivot into there. 
Now B, this is the really tricky one. I think we're gonna see some of the maybe stuff we're used to seeing in the Mexico production facilities pivot to Asia. Yeah, that's so it's not a good or bad thing. Again, like we think- It just sort of is what it is. I think the, um, I'll, I'll say this about the Mexican built tailors. I think those are some of the best built guitars in the are. world, hands well, down. We, you know, I tell people this all the time. We have been to, you behave. Really we have cute. been to the, you know, the, the Tecate factory in, Me in Mexico for Taylor. It's maybe nicer than the USA factory. Uh, the guy in the USA factory, <laughs> wait a minute. Well, no, because it's built I mean, exclusively for guitars. It was it wasn't, made with that in mind. It know? wasn't multiple factories right. put together through years of growth. It's like, hey, we're going to build this thing and we're going to have just guitars built here. It's amazing. You know, and I mean, you know, obviously being made 45 minutes away does not make it an inferior may. I mean, like, you know, the people there seemed like they're just as much on board with what they're doing as the stuff in the USA factory. Now, obviously there's always questions about like work conditions and who's getting paid what. There was blah, no blah. questions about um, that there. It seemed not, like a, not a tailor. Yeah. No, I was, I was, I was like, this is the greatest job ever. It seemed, or maybe they're putting on a show for us, but I doubt that. The coolest thing, this is an aside, but watching them make the cases and how yeah, that quickly was cool. those ladies like put the liner in the cases, that was kind well, of the amazing. The fact that Taylor makes all their yeah. cases is really cool. a cool thing. Or then like, the, the GS Mini production, I was like, man, this is the coolest. Or some of the prototypes you saw that still aren't out, but hopefully. One day. Yeah, there's some we're still like, fingers crossed. They that make one this. we saw um, but they years ago too, gosh. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy how long ago that was. I think we're gonna go back. <laughs> we might be yeah. going back this year. Really? Yeah, I think there's a chance that um, we go back and see some of the folks at Taylor again. Back to Mexico. We'll see. Back in Mexico. No, so I, I mean, it's our, we've already entered a phase where like the basic Mexican built fenders are pretty expensive. Yep. The the Martin Mexican built guitars are they're still affordable compared to a USA built. I mean, I think we're like at seventeen hundred dollars almost for in a first USA built guitar. From Martin, and they, they still have guitars in that six ninety nine world right. for the Mexican built Martins. But again, like we're we're gonna see how this sort of changes, you know. And like I mean, Derek and I we even joked about you know he might see like you know guitars built in other continents one of these days. Nope, you know? Antarctica. No, that's too expensive to get. I mean, have you seen how much a, a pack penguins. of Oreos cost <laughs> in Alaska, for goodness sake? Yeah, that's true. Just watch that's True wild. Detective season four, whatever we're on. They, it's like $20 this, this for a pack true. of Oreos. Yeah. That was in season four, episode two, I believe. Good Derek, to know. I, I don't know if Derek watched it last night. We'll find out later. I did not. Okay. I watched it. All I know is Reacher wrapped up their, their newest season. Season three? This was season two. Oh, they just, it's done. Okay. It's done. Because I started watching season one by myself. Okay. And it's quite enjoyable. See, I don't know that, honestly, I don't know that I found season two quite as enjoyable. It was enjoyable, not as enjoyable. I'm watching it by my, it's like sort of my, my guy time alone. Number one was sure. very enjoyable. Okay. I just like to watch him like be him. Because he's pretty fun. No, so the, um, the world's sort of changing at our feet. I, and it's, again, not a good or bad thing. We don't know what's happening. And it's sort of neat to witness it, yeah. be a part of this strange sort of like it's it's you know it's it's strange it's cool. Well, it, it is kind of wacky, right? Because it was so. Here's how it is for as long as I have been playing guitar. You know, you just kind of knew like okay, these are Asian guitars, Mexican guitars, USA guitars. Now the, and the lines the, are blurring. It's blurring. Yeah. And it's going to blur further as we move forward, and right. maybe that's okay. Maybe it's not. Let us know your thoughts and your prayers in the comments. No thoughts and prayers. No, I, um, I I would love to know people's thoughts and also why like why they care about it. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, because like I why think you care where it's built? Yeah, why do you care where it's built? Right? If it's a money thing, that train maybe has has passed. <laughs> but I mean, there's other other arguments to be made that maybe maybe do make no, I mean, sense. I, you know? There's parts of me, I care about certain things where they're built too. Like, I, I get it. I have that, I don't know, I think it's a knee jerk reaction. It's just, you know, I just, I, I know, I've sort of watched production in lots of places too, and I can appreciate it. I, I think it's kind of cool to be like, okay, um, the best guitars in the world are built in, in America. the US, right? America. Because there are other things, right? Like, you know, Maybe you think the coolest cars in the world are built in, in Italy. Maybe they're Italian cars. Or Japan. Know, or, 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 well, yeah. depends on your, what's if your... If you've watched Gran your, Turismo, you, you, the movie, yeah. which I finally got to see this weekend, you might think like a, a Nissan or however they say it there. I, we say Nissan, but they definitely weren't saying that in the movie. 
I'm just saying it's. I think it's cool that certain places are known yes. for certain things, and I kind of like that we're the place for rock and roll <laughs> and guitars. I almost said some really bad things. I just edited myself. Better, better. <laughs> just great way to self-edit. But um, thank yeah, God. All, you know. Um, no. So yeah, let let us get in. Let us know your thoughts as on this this issue, and we're kind of curious to watch how this happens. I, I am. It is, it is curious. Click and like. I am tempted by some of these new Mexican, uh, especially the. Artist series guitars that are coming out. But. Uh, well, there's some really cool ones. Fender's got some cool stuff coming out cool too stuff that we just saw. That's sneaking out soon enough. Stay tuned. But click like and like and subscribe. I can't speak. Like Hit and subscribe. The bell. I wish I knew how to say bell in Spanish, <laughs> but I don't. Um, tu mama's un greso vaca. That's how you say bell. Or um, I feel like that was a lot for bell. Or schmetterling. Sh <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you know what schmetterling means, just let us know. I know what it means. I think it's a fun word to say with my children. That makes them laugh for some reason. Schmetterling! Casino Guitars, partnering with uh, Rosetta Stone. The so Rosetta Stone is a Duolingo. That's how I do it. <laughs> um, thanks again for. It's, like, it's, the, it's the Rosetta Stone for the poor. So. Okay, okay, good. That's like people pay for Rosetta Stone. That's crazy. We're okay. free, free uh, here. Thanks again. Enjoy. See you next time.